Hi and welcome to the channel. Uh, like many of you, I'm sure, I've got a, a handheld a walkie-talkie. This is a Yesu FT65 dual band radio, uh, 2 meter and 70 cms FM. Um, nice build, nice quality. Conscious the stock antenna, uh, which admittedly is a dual band antenna, um, maybe doesn't perform as good as, as, as it might. I've also got, um, where are we? The quarter wave whip and Nagoya allegedly again dual band but uh, i'm sure i can get better results uh, if i make my own so i've researched the internet uh, and come up with a design uh, it's a sleeveless sleeve dipole which i'll explain in a second and um, it is also termed as a flower pot antenna you'll find as you come across um, different designs on the internet now what i have found is there's many many different views on measurements uh, coil specifications to stop um, uh, common mode currents coming down the coax and so on. So I've done my own uh, experimentation and come up with a design that definitely works. So we're, we're sort of starting at the end and working backwards. This is the finished antenna. It's made totally out of a length of RG58, uh, which everyone can uh, get access to. I've used Webro RG58CU. Uh, that spool's been very handy for small little projects like this and, and chokes and so on so effectively the antenna design is the center part of the coax is revealed so the braid's gone uh, weatherproof that with shrink wrap the normal coax down to a coil that is the end of the antenna the bottom of the coil and then you have a run of coax off to the the rig and i've got a, a bnc on the bottom there so this is what we're going to build i've got the exact dimensions for the uk spec uh, and uh, some tips on uh, measurements for the American band plan, which is which is higher than the, here in the UK. So what is a sleeveless sleeve dipole? Well, uh, regulars of the channel will remember my 5 8 wave uh, 10 meter antenna, which worked really, really well. Uh, and that's based on the same principle. So we, we know a dipole um, is essentially two halves with a feeder coming up the middle. Um, Leaved dipole is effectively a dipole on its side, but if you imagine you're going to have the coax running down anyway to the to the shaft of the ground, so a sleeveless sleeve dipole takes advantage of that and is effectively the vertical part, so that matches, but instead of the braid uh, coming down to represent the the second half of the dipole here we use common mode currents that will come down the outside of the coax until stopped so we put a choke a coil down here and effectively that is that uh, but just using one run of coax so you don't um, run the braid down there you cut the braid off the center goes straight up and the braid is effectively the radiator on its outside until it's stopped by this choke which is very important um, so that's what we're going to build i've seen many measurements for that top section many measurements for that bottom section many different designs of that coil uh, and some of to be fair some have been dual bands so i've seen ones that have gone inside um, plastic pipes i just want one that hangs uh, from a fiberglass whip um, and it's going to be single band so this is going to be a two meter only antenna so in practice what it looks like here's the coil which we'll come on to in a second this is that bottom run of coax so the rf is going to come down the outside of this and the braid and get stopped at that coil there'll be no rf below going to the radio and then here the uh, braids being carefully cut away leaving the center so the uh, the centre wire is still inside there and that just terminates. So it's weather sealed at the top and weather sealed there. So that's effectively what that diagram looks like in reality. First thing to do is to wind the coil and wherever you are uh, I would leave a metre of RG58. Mark a starting point for the start of your coil and then wind this coil uh, around the former. So my coil is nine turns of the coax around a 25mm former. 
Um, I've seen designs for 20 mil, which I think is just asking a bit too much of RG58 to go around such a small diameter, and larger uh, coils and longer coils. Um, but this is the one I plumbed for, and it does work. I've, I've, I've tested it, you'll see. Um, so I used um, some chrome wardrobe uh, hanging rail that goes through there. You can get um, plastic conduit. This is 20 mil. Um, but there is 25 mil as well, I just didn't have any. Uh, and basically, uh, we wrap this around there, and then uh, either if it's on plastic, you could leave it in, I suppose, or just uh, tape it up and then tape the inside. But I'll just show you um, the winding process. So we've got a, a meter of coax for the antenna off to one side. Uh, I've put some tape to mark the uh, end of the coil, and I've just, I don't know if you can see that. Um, just put a little arrow so I know this end of the tape is the bottom um, and I would tape this on um, just to hold it and then you're basically winding that round I'll just do a couple and these will all be nice and tight and that will run down like that so that's the end of the end of the antenna starts the coil and as you go round and round and round another marker on the end that I found was useful and then what I did I while it's still on the former apologies just knocked the camera I wrapped tape around it to hold it I've got tape around these ends to stop them unraveling and then once it was off the former I ran tape through the middle so that is solid uh, there's a bit of tape running through there you can just about see that there uh, and well wrapped so that that's not going anywhere but if you use plastic for me you can put that in the middle as well just leave it there this can unravel it's it's taped on so nine turns so that's the start background of the start is one so all the way along to eight and then the last turn round that meets up and matches is number nine so nine turns rg58 25 mil farmer so I started off exactly at 470 mil. So that arrow on the red tape marks the bottom of the antenna, the start of the coil. Um, so there you can see where we started off and the top is 470 as well. And using your side cutters, just nip away at the braid uh, so it's neat against the outer jacket. So that first cut of 470 mil at both sides, I was slightly too low here, you can see 142 megahertz. So I made another cut at 465, it took 5 mil off both sides. And I was still a little bit too low, uh, so I needed another cut. So here you can see I'm now down to 460 mil. I've trimmed the bottom half first, uh, because as I bear this off, it makes the top half longer. And to keep it balanced, uh, I've trimmed that to 460, and now I'll trim this to 460 as well, so it's it's the same length on both sides. If you keep trimming this uh, without trimming that, uh, you'll end up with a, a top measure longer than the bottom. Uh, might not affect it much, but I, I want to keep it balanced as best I can. And while I remember, this fishing pole has a an eye on the end. Now I've used a magnet just to find where the end of this metal is, it's about there. So when I'm touching the top of the antenna about here, so there's there's minimal interaction between that and this. So it's something worth uh, thinking about when you're testing yours. Um, this is a bit thin to tape to, so I'll eventually tie something on here that clips onto that and holds it at a suitable distance. But just worth remembering, there's a little bit of metal inside there that you need to be careful of. So this is now exactly 460 mil on both sides. Um, so where are we? There's a dip. There, yeah, right in the FM section, so 1.2 SWR right across that for the UK portion of the band, so really happy with that. Um, just need to weatherproof it now, a little bit of uh, shrink wrap.
Yep, so that's 460 both sides. Right, we saw the uh, sort of the build design of this coil earlier. I'm just going to show you um, how, uh, how it works on the antenna using the analyzer. I've got no way of truly measuring this, but I can show you the impact of it. Um, so if I put it out a shot, I've just got the pole on the floor. That coil's about head height. So if you watch the display, so I'm just holding the coax now. Um, there. I'm holding the coax, no different than yesterday. We are. I'm getting right up to the very bottom of the coil there. Still no difference. So there's no uh, no RF apparently coming down the coax. But if I touch the coil, that's me touching the coil. If I touch the top half of the antenna, there you go. Touching the coil, touching the coax just below the coil. So you can see there's no RF coming down the outside of that braid. The uh, the coils choked it off. So what I was effectively doing, which I couldn't show you because I didn't have enough hands, uh, I was touching the coax right up to the coil, then holding the coil, then holding the antenna. Um, so you could see all the interaction when I was here, but when I got down to here, all the way down, um, that was fine. Um, so coil doing its job. Right, so we're outside in the front garden, the pole is resting on the floor. Against the hedge coil, that's six foot high, that's head height. And there's the top of the antenna. So we're out in the open, and I've got here the Yesu FT65 tuned into GB3HG, which is a repeater that's 22 miles from me. Standard antenna. We've also got this uh, Nagoya antenna, which is like a, a quarter wave whip. So try this. I know this doesn't work, but I'll show you anyway. Nothing coming back. I'll hold it uh, full height. S still nothing. So take this off. Carefully put it on the ground. Put that one on. Head high up in the sky. No. Right. Take that one off. Uh, where's my adapter? Adapter on. So normally you'd leave this on and not screw in and out so many times. Uh, B and C on. I think that was S S6 I think. G0 CNN listening through. Yep, success. G0 CNN listening through GB3HG. Try another one. Uh, that's a closer repeat, I think. Richmond, pop, well, I think it's closer. G0 CNN listening through. Success. G0 Charlie November November, Mike 0 Kilo Oscar Mike, he's there again. Yeah, Roger Lenny, G0 CNN, are you getting me at all? Yeah, 5 and 9, 59. Cranky, that's good. This is the uh, the new, uh, well, dipole that I've just made. Uh, I'm just going to swap some antennas. This is uh, this is about head height uh, in the front garden. I'm just going to put the original whips on and see uh, see how the signal changes. Assuming you can still get me, Roger. Yeah, yeah, my preamp was on. It's uh, the two readings, 5 and 6, 56. Right, well, we'll start with that, and uh, give me a sec. If if there's a long silence, uh, you haven't heard me. Okie dokie. Uh, carry on, carry on. Fire up, Will. Poor Will. Roger, roger. Right, this is the uh, the stock uh, uh, antenna that comes with the Yesu. I don't know if you're getting me, roger. 
Don't know if you get me, Lenny. Uh, this is a stock antenna. I'll hold it up a height. Hang on. Can you hear me now, Lenny? Hello, hello, hello. Right. I don't know if you can hear me. I can't hear you. I'm. Uh, I'm going to put on the uh, the quarter wave whip. Well, that didn't go very well, did it? Right. Well, in terms of the stock antenna. So now we're on to the this one. Can you get me now, Lenny? One, two, three. Upper height, one, two, three. No. Right, back to the the dipole. Just get it on. Right, I'm guessing you couldn't hear me at all on either of those, G0CNN. Oh, you just come back now you just keyed up. Yeah, well that was the stock, uh, sort of small whip. Uh, and a, like a little quarter wave Nagoya one. So uh, this is just, uh, well it's a, sl a sleeveless sleeve dipole. So it's just uh, um, a bare piece of uh, coax uh, centre up. And then the, using the braid coming down with the choke to choke it off, Roger. Yeah, I think you're fine on that. But, uh, didn't hear a thing on the others, whatever the others were, not a big. Right, so some, some final points. Um, these are the uh, the measurements I started with. 470 was 142, 460 got to me to 145. So I'm guessing 450 for the American market uh, would be 147. So if you start at 460 and just nibble away, uh, you're going to be okay to get down to your your band uh, for FM section. So if you have a metre of coax, you've got loads spare because we're only using 470 mil or less. Uh, it looks like it'd be about 450. Um, this is a fiberglass pole. Uh, obviously there are carbon poles. You could hold uh, an antenna uh, horizontally as a as a as a mast with a carbon pole but i wouldn't use a carbon pole for an antenna that's hanging vertically uh, it'll interact and likewise you don't want a metal pole so fabulous pole to my g58 um yeah works a treat easy to make i'm going to keep this in the car uh, i'll keep this in the car already uh, and take it with me and hopefully you'll see some videos of me on top of some hills somewhere if, if the sun ever shines ever again. Thanks for watching. This channel is all about simple projects and operating. If you like and subscribe and hit the bell, you'll be notified of new videos when they're released. 73.